We're here at the Appalachian Gypsy Tribe. Hi. We have Travis, Emily, and Asa. Hi. Uh, they'll be playing on the main stage of Music Fest real soon. Uh, you guys have been a band for a few years now. You have a festival of Gypsy Wind as well. How did you guys come up with Gypsy Wind? And this year was very successful. Uh, How do you, like, what bands do you usually, like, bring along to Gypsy Wind? What bands? Yeah, what bands do you usually bring along? I know you're friends with a lot of bands. In the... we, well, the past two years, we had it for two years now. Try to, we try to have different headliners each year, you know, so it's probably about a rotation of about 20 bands that have played, maybe a little bit more than that, you know. But um, actually, Todd from Trouble City All Stars wanted our band name to be Gypsy Winds. Okay. And so that's where we kind of got the name for the festival and our second CD. Nice. Yeah. Thanks, Thank Todd. You, Todd. Thank, Thank you, Todd. Thank you, Todd. <laughs> Um, in the scene, there's a lot of local musicians. When you guys have a break, um, are you What's up, man? when you guys <laughs> when you guys have a break, who do you guys usually like to see around the scene? Uh, Trouble City. Sloth, Dr. Sloth. Well, that's not really yeah, too. All, long, all, but, all our friends that we play with yeah. around see uh, Albert Savage a lot, Serene Green. I mean, there's Pennsylvania's got a great music scene, and we like supporting them all. You guys have also been friends for years. Did you originally want to be a band, or did it just like come together? We were all in different bands. You all in different bands? Yeah. A, a, bunch a bunch of, of bands split. We all came together. Throughout the years, that just morphed into this. Morphed into AGT. Yeah. What um? Are there any venues around the valley, or even regional? You guys are more regional too. That really feel like home to you. That really get the crowd going. I know you played out like uh, Appalachian. Uh, it's definitely one of our favorite spots. Yeah. Always the Fun House on Southside. We got to give it up to Tina at the Fun Tina House in Bethlehem, PA, for hooking us up years and years and years of it's giving like us base. shows. It's our, that's our home base place. Yeah, almost going on 10 years. Uh, you know, 10 years at the Fun House? Yeah, almost. Oh, man. Yeah. Tina loves you. She pays the bills. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tina. <laughs> You've been paying the bills for like 38 years. We know now. it all to Tina. And, and yeah, besides that, I mean, yeah, Appalachian Brewing Company is really fun and awesome. Sarah's a great girl. She books it. Um, River Street Jazz Cafe. It's fun playing there. And wherever we get booked, because it's we're a lot of festivals, to be a lot of like yeah. you know outdoor summertime. Grateful Acres Productions. They yeah. put out some good stuff. You know. A lot, yeah. We have fun when we play, so we like we like a lot of we like a lot of the places we play. Any place. You were actually doing something pretty special in a few weeks, I believe. You're doing the Band of Gypsies album. Yeah. Yes, we are. Did you say anything about that? Or that we we're not private? ready. We're not it's ready. A lot of, it's a lot of hard work. <laughs> we're doing but, it though, but we are doing. getting through this <laughs> we're get so it. good. We are gonna blow my. It's hard to great, cover. You know. It's hard to cover a ba uh, an album that's like 80% improvised, but you know, fair enough, fair enough. we're gonna try that, and do it our own way. I heard it that might be guy was pretty good. So. Well, luckily we have two guitarists yeah, to, cover, two guitarists to cover, to cover one, one band. One, so. Talking about that, what other what other albums are they covering? I heard was it the Doors? There's gonna maybe? be some Dylan cover. There's yeah. gonna be. Um, I don't know if there's any more albums being done. I think it's just like acts. Gotcha. Yeah. Stardust yeah, Machine is doing Dylan. They're doing Dylan. Um, What's this? Steely one? Jam's doing Stevie Wonder, I think. Yeah, that'll be really uh, sweet. That'll be awesome. That's, gonna, that's a that's a cool yeah. event. Austin Dam Show's got a cool. Uh, Thing going on with yeah, the original we're, bands. We're, we're a little butthurt. We weren't on it last year, you know, but we're happy we're But it's be this year, man. It's yeah. impressive. It's all about this. It's, it's, it's in the now. <laughs> Can you cut that out? <laughs> what other, um, when you're not playing, what other national acts do you really look up to that you want to maybe form into? At some point, I'd like to be. Guitar. I'd like to be fish myself. You just want to be. I just want to be fish. Just one person. Yeah, one I just want to be fish. Like, uh, just a combo. Like, wear a dress, have red hair. Yeah. Have a receding hairline, like Paige. Just Play kidding. drums really <laughs> fucking good. Yeah. And do this head bob like Gordon too. I've been working on that for years. <laughs> How's that coming about? Uh, my neck's getting it, real sore. That's a, that's a, I, I, think, I think he's coming along us. really well with that. Better than he's my really, guitar player. The balding really, is going to be next. <laughs> that's, that's on its right, way. He's right. working he on it. He's going to shave his head. What, um, <laughs> did you guys like grow up with music? Like, were your parents very influential about it? Or, like, yeah. did you just, like, become a thing? I think this is a great question for Emily. Oh, hello, Emily. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess so. I was raised listening to, like, all kinds of 
different like world music, folk music, you know, rock and roll stuff. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let me just count a couple more up. But you know, like all genres, um, and like just a lot of really good, I think really good music that I still listen to, you know, even though I've been listening to it my whole life, it never gets old, so. Are there any, okay. Emily, are there any albums that really resonated you, resonated with you at a young age? I, I mean, know it's a very hard question. I think the first album that I really got stuck with, um, well, the first two that I remember distinctly as a young child were Diamond Dogs and Ziggy Stardust by David Bowie. Those were like, I used to like sit in my dad's van as a little kid and look through the Diamond Dogs, like, you know, booklet and sing along with it. And it was always like, so that's probably actually the one that sticks out to me the most. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Gypsy Kings. Gotta love the Gypsy uh, Kings. You guys are fans of um, Yako's hot dogs. Is that a rumor? Is that the truth? Or is this fake news here? Three times a week. It's kind of a band tradition for us. Whenever we play in the area, we we take a trip to Yako's. Okay. <laughs> it's more than a band tradition for me. <laughs> it's you more of a lifestyle. You can't be in the band unless you eat Yako's hot dogs. It's more of a it's lifestyle. It's kind of the official. Two to three times a week, probably. Okay. Yeah. Got you. Got you. <laughs> what's, hey, so what's your favorite kind of Yako's hot dog? I go everything. I, my meal is everything. Two dogs, small pierogi, birch berry. Okay, gotcha. It's about five fifty. Five fifty. Give or take, cash only. I I always get a chocolate milk too. A chocolate milk. And you gotta wash the dog down with something flavorful. That's very daring. Thick. That's what my pierogies are for. To wash the. That's just the love shoving are. wieners down your throat, don't you? <laughs> that, it, I, I can't argue with that. What, have you ever been to Yakos? Yeah, I've had a Yakos a few times. We should go sometime. We should go sometime. Oh, yeah, I'll come down. Should we like, eat these dogs? You, like, dog or you like, can be in the band now. Yeah, I can be in the band. The, 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 the secret's in the sauce. Yeah, 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 for sure. If you don't get sauce, you're not eating Yakos. I've been going no sauce. Raw dog. I've been walking that Raw road. dog. That's a point. Sometimes I just don't need the lard, man. Like, it's just lard. That's what's in the sauce. And it's like... That's the secret. It's like, dude, if I'm having lard Yakos... The secret. And the whatever. secret's out of the sauce. Asa worked at Yakos, actually. I used to he work really at actually Yacos. knows the secret. <laughs> you know how I'd say it, right? You know and I, I say it. still eat there, and I used to work oh, yeah. there. Heck yeah. So. What is, one more question, what does the future hold for AGT? What do you guys, in 2018 and moving forward, what do you guys feel is coming up? Bigger and better things, obviously. Well, we'd like to think so. I mean, we have a lot of, this year we got pretty many good gigs. I mean, we're excited about Music Fest coming up in five minutes, and we're excited about Railroad Earth. Oh, coming up, yeah. opening for them. Uh, yeah, when's that? That's uh, August 25th, Friday. With yeah, Trouble so. City All Stars. Yeah, with the Trouble City the again. But, Thank um, you, Todd. Yeah, Thanks, 2018. Todd. <laughs> we, we really only hope to step it up the next level and keep rolling in with these really good gigs and uh, you know keep doing our thing, making our music. I might. Just, never mind. I was gonna make a shitty mo comment, but <laughs> don't make any bad comments. Would no you, more bad comments out of you. But, would you like to add anything else about the Appalachian Gypsy Tribe? Uh, just come to see us, open for Real on Earth. That's right. <laughs> Buy tickets from us. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I'd second that. <laughs> Help us be number one. <laughs> cool. Thank you, Chris. Chris You're Snyder. Thank yeah, you. thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Fantastic. You for, thank you let's give it up for Chris Snyder for being an amazing yeah. Lehigh Valley yeah. music supporter. Yeah, you know Thanks.